What's up guys, Chase here with Biocentric Bros, just giving you a quick update of our uh, mushroom rooms. You're currently looking at room number one, it's our first room that we featured in our first video. Um, since the video we've implemented a uh, small Arduino system. Those of you that don't know what an Arduino is, it's just a small microprocessor, really cheap stuff, super easy. Um, we're running this with a timer on the first room. Um, 8 minutes on, 15 minutes off, pretty simple. And we're also using it as a data logger to log humidity, temperature, and dew point um, of our incoming air. So we can kind of get an idea of where our air is coming and how it's fluctuating. Um, move on over and show you inside. We've been producing lots of blocks, got another pressure cooker, doubled our production, and it's starting to show. Got some wonderful lion's mane coming along. Those are, get my hand in there for you. That's nice big fruits. Uh, let's see, we got some king back there. A few more king. Uh, these are blue oyster. That cluster there needs to be picked. Um, not quite what we want them to be. Definitely still have a bit more stem. We're thinking it's light related. These LEDs don't put out quite enough light. Um, so our CO2 levels are pretty good. So we'll get the get to the bottom of that. And we'll move on down here. Piopino block over there. Uh, that's the first Piopino block we've done. And we put a casing on it. Maybe got it too late because the veils have already broken. In there. Bells have already broken, but they're really short, so I'm assuming they pinned lower down, or I'm not quite sure there. Um, let's go there. This is a uh, king block that we've cased. Just peat moss, perlite, um, some hydrated lime, and there you have it. Those are some nice kings. Excited for those move on to our second room um, uh, first video we were just barely getting this guy up and running uh, it is running now we've made a few modifications on it uh, we've added two zipper doors and a velcro end it allows us to pull the shelving unit out in one piece instead of having to dismantle it and gives it a lot better access in there um, humidity bucket and everything like that is identical to our first unit. Um, we built some new shelving, so these were purpose built. It's just uh, PVC, a few elbows, and some galvanized wire. And it seems to be doing really well so far. And we've got 21 shiitake blocks in this, and they're just coming along nice. Shelf is doing really well. We're excited with that. That first room will end up having another shelf like this. And these are some more blue oyster. These oysters are looking a little bit better than the ones in the other room. We think that's potentially due to more light. These lights are on uh, almost 24-7 at this point. So uh, I'm not quite sure running tests on that. This one we also did a little bit different drain system. Um, it's doing really nice. We were leaking a lot of air um, from an open drain on the bottom and so this allowed us to close it up in a box. It's got a nice little fitting in there and um, keeps everything a bit cleaner. So that's another nice addition. And we also got rid of the wooden base and just put it up on cinder blocks. That way if we get any leaks they're easy to see and it just falls on cement. Um, so that, that first room will lose that wooden base as well. Uh, so yeah, that's our uh, mushrooms growing rooms right now. We've definitely, like I said, bumped up spawn production. Got lots of reishi coming in and uh, lion's mane, kings, shiitakes. Will be uh, the uh, pop-up market for the downtown alliance at Tony Caputo's on Saturday with some fresh mushrooms and grow your own mushroom blocks. 
come stop by and say hi. Uh, any questions, comments, definitely send them our way. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash biocentricbros. Thanks for checking us out.